I finally got some time to put together my next partial mining rig. It's only gonna be three cars instead of my normal six, but I finally got a chance to build it, so I'm gonna walk you guys through it and what all I gotta do and give you guys some tips on building yours. All right, so first things first, how I do my mining rigs, I normally make a plywood bottom and just have kind of wooden sides, and then a lot of times, for a normal full mining rig, I'll have little shelves coming up that the GPUs um, will sit on. But this time I don't have that because it's only gonna be a three card rig, so each one can just sit right into the board itself. So it's gonna save me a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and I'm not gonna have to use PCIe risers, but I am gonna walk you through that process as well. So I already got motherboard here. I already got the CPU and the fan on it and hooked in. It's just, this one is just a, I believe it's a Celeron processor. Don't need anything special, just get a cheap one. And then one of the things that a lot of people forget, this cord right here, it's basically just your power button, your on off button, and then your reset button. Just as a little cord, it plugs in right back here. Pretty simple. The next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and add a stick of RAM to it. This is just one stick of eight gigabytes of RAM, which is more than enough. And then, um, I do want to have a little bit of a disclaimer. Plywood is not really the best um, for using this because the graphics card will get hot. It's a potential fire hazard, but these aren't going to get that hot, which is why I'm using it. So it should be fine. So next thing up that I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move over actually the graphics cards and just hook them up. So I'll do the back one first so you can see. Essentially you just line it up here. Right, maybe, but oh, that's why. Little, I have a little slit in the plywood here so that the graphics card will sit nicely in there. We might have to lift it up a little bit to get them to snap into place properly. And there you go, that snaps in to not let you know it's in place. I have a little slit right there for this metal piece to go down into. That's one done, I'm gonna grab the next one. There you go, second one is in. And then these are really close, so there's a chance that they can get hot. I am gonna be watching it, and if they get too hot, I will be installing them onto risers. On that note, so how a riser works, I have a couple right here, give me just a second. This is what a riser typically comes with. It comes with the board, that is the riser itself. It comes with this SATA cord that plugs right into here. That's how you power the riser. And then it comes with this USB part that goes into the motherboard itself to make the connection. And that's how the motherboard and the computer read the uh, GPU. Now, here's the thing that they don't tell you. This, this is not capable of running enough electricity to power the riser properly. I've used these in the past and it burned up three power supplies, I believe. And I just, Honestly, throw them away. Not worth it, not worth the chance. I'll show you what to do instead. Instead, use this six pin to Molex adapter. Essentially what you do, plug it into here. Now I've read conflicting stories about whether you should use one or both. Personal preference, I just say use both, be on the safe side. And the Molex power cord, just like this, plugs one end, plugs into the PSU. The other end, you take two of these and plug them into each one and I would only do one riser per cord just to be on the safe side. I'm not entirely sure if you can get away with doing more, but I've already burned up three power supplies. Don't really care about finding out that bad enough, so I'm gonna use one per riser. So that is how you would do it if you hook, up, hook it up as a riser. You just, same thing as a slot on the uh, motherboard here, same thing, just hook the graphics card in, and then typically what I would do, you just take this end here, and you slide it in to the PCIe slot, and then I would run it and have a shelf about right here so that the graphics card is sitting just above the motherboard. And that's how I handle the risers. Also, another thing that I need to mention is this is not the best motherboard for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency mining. There is a specific mining motherboard that I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you buy. They are a lot cheaper than like this one. This is an old one that I just had laying around. So I decided to go ahead and use it instead. With a mining motherboard, how they're different is 
So this right here is the power supply, um, power input to, to power the board. There is actually three of these in A, B, and C. And the reason for that is that A will run the motherboard and all the things, and then the first section of uh, PCIe slots. And then there's actually three different sections labeled A, B, and C on the motherboard. So you can have up to, I believe it's 16 graphics cards plugged in using the risers. There's only one full, um, full PCIe slot and then the rest are these mini ones like this that you have to use for the risers. So as you can see, only the riser cable will fit into here, just like so. But you can plug a riser into the normal slot as well. But so that is why I would definitely recommend getting the mining specific board. It's definitely worth it, definitely worth the money. And when it powers on, it even tells you if the cards are are green for good, yellow for there's a connection issue, and red for they are not working, they're not responding, there's an error with them. So it's really helpful in troubleshooting as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this last graphics card here. There we go, right like that. Pretty good. Get this out of the way as well. Next thing is I already got some of this stuff all hooked together, but so we have right here the hard drive, which I need to get this cable unhooked. And then I'm just lining it up with the first SATA cable slot, which is right there. Plug that in, already have these cords hooked up, and then the power supply is the next thing that needs to go on here. It's gonna go right here, make sure to get this cord out of here. And then for hard drives, it doesn't really matter what type of hard drive you use. I typically use an SSD hard drive. That's what I'm using for all of my rigs downstairs that are already currently running. But I had this old hard drive laying around, so I decided to go ahead and use it. Basically, all this stuff is from when I first started mining. I didn't know a whole lot, and so I got some stuff and just kind of started. And I've learned a lot since then. I've gotten newer equipment, and it's all being used right now. And I have this laying around, and I decided to go ahead and hook it all up and get it going. So now you gotta run a PCIe cable to each of the GPUs. This goes in right up here on the top. Oh, this is a CPU cable, sorry. But, so this one plugs in back here to power the CPU. Now, now we have the PCIe GPU cables going in here. So these ones are three plus two, or six, sorry, six plus two cables. So pretty much what they do is they slide right on out. These ones are a little difficult. They're brand new and I had to order some new cables because the, the old power supplies burn up the last one. So there you see you got six plus two. So these are 1060s, the six gigabyte cards. So they only need these six pins. The 1080s a lot of times will need eight, sometimes even more. So they just slide in there right like that. I'm again using one cord per each graphics card. Or I know the 1060s, you can actually get away with like using this cord for both of them. So like I could spin this over and plug it in here as well. Since I'm only having three on this single motherboard, I'm not going to, I'm only gonna, I'm just gonna use three separate cables. And this power supply is big enough to run all three of them. I can't remember exactly um, the size of the power supply. I believe this one is a thousand watt power supply, so it's plenty enough. It's plenty uh, of watts to power that, to power all these three and the motherboard together. That is definitely something to check into, and I'll probably make a, another video on that in the future because I will be making another um, mining board, uh, mining rig setup in the near future because I will be. Expanding, I still have another six 1060s, a three gigabyte version. They're small cards, they're not very efficient, but they still do make a profit. So I will be putting those together at some point in the near future. So now we're essentially done. I have this little slot here so I can move the motherboard a little bit. There we go. So now, to what you do, you plug an HDMI cord into the side here and have it plugged into your monitor and then you just plug the power supply in and then you turn it on. All you do to turn it on is you press the screen button here, it'll power up just like a normal computer and you have it'll display on the monitor. You still have the USBs for monitor, oh sorry, the keyboard and mouse. 
that's pretty much it. That's really all you got to do after that point. It's a software program. I use Nice Ash Miner, and you just run it like you would install any other piece of software. And that's about it. It just starts going and it will go for a very long time. A couple of key things to mention if you are not plugging these cards directly into the board, if you are using the miners, make sure that you use these Molex splitters. Do not use the SATA cable that comes with it. You will burn up the power supply. It will not be fun. And it is a very bad fire hazard because we about had a fire when when my last one's burnt up. It is not fun, you do not want to deal with it. Just take my advice and do not use those at all for the risers. So that about does it for today. And thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and I will get back to them. I will answer as many as possible if there gets to too many. But I will try to answer everything that you ask. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, go for and ask. But again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.